everyone it is brandon sab back with another video and what huh, this is crazy i haven't done a video in i don't even know how long um a lot has happened a lot of growth uh but let's get right into it um this is just gonna be a quick little update update video for you guys uh i definitely feel like i owe you guys a lot um a lot of you guys have been reaching out um just showing a lot of love and just showing your appreciation for me and i really appreciate that so i wanted to gift you guys uh one of my files uh that i've been actually working on or that i actually already posted on my instagram make sure you guys um follow that and just if you see anything you like just um let me know you want to see a tutorial or something on it so i just want to keep going so basically long story short if you guys don't follow me already if you guys don't follow me already i've done a huge project definitely one of the biggest projects of my career thus far uh, it was called the crew league it was a basketball league for a basketball tournament um with all your favorite rappers competing for a hundred thousand uh, dollars there is definitely no competition like this it was a dope experience i got a chance to do the logo and design the court everything so so guys this all just started from literally me just making a youtube channel and just designing so I want to I want to give you guys this collage. Um, I'm actually going to uh, clear out all of the the spots now. Um, clear out all of the images so that you guys will be able to use it. Uh, I'll I'll color code coat them and then just teach you guys how to fill it in and and uh, you know use it. So make sure you guys like this video. Comment down below on on what new things you want to see in 2021 and let's get it um i'm gonna have a link for this file in the description below and also thank you guys um couldn't have done this without you guys okay so if you guys stay this long um i appreciate you you guys probably just want to know how to actually uh, fill out and replace these images so that's what i'm actually going to do now so you guys could just stick around we're just going to chit chat a little bit and yeah go from there so uh this was already done and what i'm gonna do now is kind of just reverse engineer like i already had the photos on it but i want you guys to be able to change everything yourself so one quick way that i'll do this is i actually just learned this so in the newer photoshops i'm not sure how how um new this is but you can actually search in the layer panel so what i like to do is when i'm dealing with a lot of collages like this and a lot of layers layer styles on it um i just like to organize it i i like to just stay really organized with my my layers so what i do is i go to attribute and go to not visible and these are all the layers in my file that aren't visible that's just taking up space so i'm gonna go ahead and delete those and then you can also go by name but i don't really name my layers but yeah we're gonna go from there so um what i'm doing now again is just literally taking the images and turning them into a color for you guys so that you can you can easily edit so i'm gonna name this pink so you'll know to go to the pink section and replace that image and i'll teach you guys how to replace once we finish with uh you know re just replacing and getting all these color coded but yes guys um yeah, it's, it's just been so long. I'm just getting acclimated again with just like talking and, and designing. I literally design every day. Uh, a lot of a lot of new clients came from my Instagram account and just my YouTube channel, which I appreciate. But I still want to post more here. So we're still on the road to 5000 followers or subscribers rather. And I, I promise you guys a, a 5K pack. So if you guys are new to the channel, I design a pack where I give out, say, some of my um psd files some of my most used layer um textures that i've created 
just things of that nature like the, this tape that i'm using in the in the collage this is something that i've i've developed myself so I'm, I'm i'm seeing a lot of it on instagram now as far as like a lot of just other pages just creating files i'm not saying i invented it but i definitely should should do a lot more because i know just designing every day i know what people are looking for and i know what 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 things people want to learn and, and and just need so um yeah so i want to do a better job at at uh providing more for you guys so again if you guys need anything as far as whatever it is like let me know so i can just get acclimated again with just posting and providing again providing you guys with what you need so um so yeah so i also i'm liking how this is coming out because you guys are going to be able to edit it a lot easier to be honest so it's going to be actually dope so put in the comment section what else you guys want to learn and just what do you need what you need help with I, I, again i need more content i want to i want to help you guys i want to help you guys grow I, i've definitely seen a lot uh definitely for sure seen a lot in these last in this last year and just in general uh just with design and and everything so definitely want to help you guys grow as well I know there's a lot of young designers watching my videos and just a lot of influencers watching as well. So, um, yeah, for sure. So I'm almost done with this. Um, we're color coding it. Uh, definitely going to fill you guys in on how to how to exchange each image. But I'm really liking how this is coming out so far. Uh, this this collage actually took me hours to do. Uh, so I'm just happy that I'll be able to share it with you guys, you know, it's actually been so long since I've, since I've done a video anyway. So I definitely owe you guys, you guys still keep it locked in the comments. You guys still show love. Super dope to see for sure. So again, I'm just color coding the images. So that we can um, just go from there. I'm not really explaining what I'm doing because I'm gonna go in depth once I get all of this done. So, so bear with me, guys. Um, a lot of dope content is on the way, and I again I appreciate you guys just for showing love. Um, you guys could have definitely just been. You guys could have definitely just started watching someone else and and you know just unsubscribing but you guys kept it locked it was just a crazy crazy year i don't like making excuses because i remember every time i post or every time i would um just be gone for a while or whatever the case a lot of people are, <laughs> a lot of our subscribers would just say oh you're you have excuses so i don't want to make excuses but just enjoy the time now because i'm here so yeah um so we only have a few more left and we're about to be finished Then I'll teach you guys an easy way to, um, you know, just replace these images with yours guys. So I organized the layers a bit, organized the layers a bit and I named them accordingly. Also put an example image in there so I can teach you guys how to add images to the collage. So just to go over how I separated everything, I included the tape in its own group. Tape, we got the colors, and then this is just the background. So you don't have to touch this. And that's everything. All right, so I have my image here. This will be uh, just your regular image. And the best way to do it is if you go to the colors group and select which color you want to replace where you want to put the image so let's say I want to put it in this first green area so I can find the green here and what I want to do is there's a couple couple ways you could do it you can drag the image over the green and then I'm on a Mac so if you hold down command and click 
in this area in here, it'll select around the green box. So once it's selected, you'll go back, make sure you click back onto the photo, photo layer and select this button down here, which is mask. So now we have a mask and if you unlock it in the middle right here and move around the image, you'll be able to manipulate and size it accordingly. So I have that image in there. And for me, I don't really like, well, you don't see it now, uh, but I was gonna say this green border, but you don't really see it. It was just when it was zoomed out, you don't see it at all, actually. So one, one thing that I like to do is just to add a little bit of sauce, I like to create inner shadow. So if you add an inner shadow to this, put the size up and the opacity up, and make sure it's black. It'll create some type of border around it that makes it look dope inside this frame. So now let's go, go ahead and repeat those steps and create or add rather another image. So that was the first way was using a mask. Now I'm about to show you a different way. I'm just going to grab a random image on here. Just of someone's feet. So uh, I want to put it in this yellow area here. So another way I can do it is, is this. So if I cut this image out, select again, hold down command and click on this yellow area and go up to the top, go up to the top and, and select paste into. And now I have the image pasted inside of it. So uh, one of the biggest reasons why I said to deselect this lock is because if you try to move the image, it moves the whole thing. So if you unlock it, and move it, it moves it within the mask. So it's not gonna move outside of that yellow parameter. So that's basically how you do it. You guys can, can repeat these steps over and over and over. I'm gonna include a link to this file down below, but you guys have to subscribe first in order to download. So enjoy guys, I'm out.